Well, okie dokie, we have lift off. Okay, I thought I'd show you a little bit more of the Brighton thing. Done a bit more since I spoke to you last. So, apart from making noses and ears <laughs> and rather large heads, I've been up to all sorts. Now, what I've got going on here is a machinist. Now, this is one of the four of the sculptures that's going to be sitting outside a Jaguar Land Rover place, like I said before. And this fella's a machinist. It's got to be of an unusual machine. I'd probably call it a horizontal mill, but it's not a machine I've used. I've been a machinist. You know, I've worked as a machinist. But uh, every industry has slightly different. And this was, I sure, probably the aircraft industry of the site. So this uh, fella's intently looking at a machine. And he's got a hand on the handle. He's working. Um, you can see it's the machine bed going on. The scale of him is quite big. I've only got sort of one half a fin, half a head, and one of the hands. But as you can see for yourself, the hands are pretty big. And because it's going in perspective, it's a lot bigger than the machine because you're seeing it in a perspective sort of view. And this has made this little job a bit of fun. Oh, you I'm going to keep going with it. Okay, all right. I made a little cock up there. I keep leaving volumes on around the place. So look, there's the drawing I'm working to. And uh, there's the first, I would say, jaw head. And now I want to concentrate on the hair. Now, when I'm making all the big bits, I tend to make lots and lots of little bits. And I thought the little bits would be absolutely ideal for doing the hair. And of which they were. They're all individually bent and felt. And they're kind of bent and, and folded up. And the kind of effect that I wanted to get, I got, if you like, a, a, a man with uh, slightly wavy hair, I suppose you'd call it. Again, trying to stay quite close to form, but I know uh, David Ash has given me a bit of a license, so, and he kind of trusts me. At the end of the day, if something was really horrible and he didn't like, I could always redo, but you know there's got to be a certain level of trust um i think the hair in this particular case took me three and a half days something like that just to give you an idea of how much time you can spend on these things that's just on the hair by the way which is um don't have to be too precise there was just a lot of work in it um i'm also working both sides of the sculpture as well i'm, I'm working inside the thing as well so um i want to tighten all the joints up obviously i want to make it nice and strong and um, yeah, I thought it was important that, and besides visually, it doesn't look good from both sides. And again, it's a shame it's not displayed from both sides, really. It's equally that interesting. But this is my technique, lots of welding, lots of grinding back. But you start to get some interesting shapes going on. And again, another thing, never done hair at this scale before. Not tried this particular technique with hair. Realized that it could go even bigger quite easily. So if I wanted to make a head twice the size, um, yeah. In fact, I've asked to do John Newman's head. Um, I've asked him personally uh, through his mother. Uh, John Newman is quite uh, local to me. Uh, I've got a friend that house sits for him. So yes, he's a, a really interesting individual, produced some fantastic music himself and written a good deal of stuff and has met everybody I'd ever want to meet. So rock and roll to you and thank you for your permission. I will, um, at some time, I've got a fair bit of work on at the moment now, but um, I shall do a John Newman um, sculptured head of a sort of a scale that I can cope with. <laughs> Let's just say that. Um, yeah, and of course you get sidetracked. You have to go to shows and things as well. Make sure that, you know, you're looking for work for the following year and the year after. So I'm pretty busy this year. So we went to Hyde, we went to Heaver, uh, met some mad potters. Uh, had a great time with them and they jumped about and um, absolute, all of them were absolutely charming. And I'm glad I spent time with them. That's really good fun. And so there's my head. Quite pleased with what went on there. Um, it's not of a scale of a head that I've done before. I'm keeping in keeping with what the designer wanted in as much as it's quite cartoony still. But, you know, I'm trying to be true to the picture. And I now, I now I've got to get on with this mad machine. Now the machine is drawn in perspective. It's been sculpted in clay in perspective. And I'm trying to realise that in steel. It's the weirdest thing I've ever made. In as much as 
is a perspective is a perspective from a certain view and when you see it from another view it's just a load of mad shapes so um yeah it's gonna be good to get this together but it has been difficult to work on you keep thinking you're making mistakes i've kind of learned to work with this now but you know from different angles i'm thinking oh no, i've done that wrong and i've gone back on myself and tried to undo things and realized i was probably right the first time and ah so it took me a while to get used to this. This uh, is the component that sits on top of um, the machine. And the machine bed. And uh, I made that separately. Got lots of holes to let the liquid out. And uh, yeah, starting to come together a little bit. It's pretty shiny because there's a lot of sanding back and things going on here. And it's a very shiny bright day. So it looks quite uh, quite cool to be vice at the moment. Um, but there's a bigger part to this machine there's the actual spindle part as well some said it's a kind of lathe now i still say it's horizontal mill but i'm trying to make some machine shapes here again going by his drawings and his and his k model <clears throat> and kind of what i've got around as well you know i'm modifying adapting things as well to make this thing work and it's being like cut away as well so the the, the sculpture sort of finished earlier <clears throat> than the machine would if that makes any sense so i've sort of made a wobbly edge um on reflection i think i should have made a whole machine to be honest it's not that much more work it'd be really recognizable then but i'll get in earlier at the design stage but it's a great design i really i'm, I'm well impressed it does transfer into steel pretty good and hopefully the customers are pleased with the progress i feel i'm slipping a little behind with this one only because i'm just putting too much time into it and um uh, well, anyway, look, thanks for listening. I think I'm probably out of step with my pictures and my verbal because of that stupid bibbing speaker plattin' away. But, uh, yeah, thanks for listening to my waffle. <laughs> All right. Stay safe, if you want. Don't forget to subscribe. There'll be another one of these soon, I'm sure. Look out for it now. Ta-da.